Hello, YouTubers. It's a Smoky Smoky SC seven eighty seven. Um, this video is going to be a r little bit of a ramble. Um, as you see, I got the tripod out, so the video is more uh, stable. Maybe this video could last for five minutes, ten minutes, even fifteen minutes. So I thought I'd do you all a courtesy and uh, get the tripod out. So here goes. This is a ramble about Latakia, Latakia tobacco. Um, it probably won't be 15 minutes, I would doubt it. Um, but uh, you can feel free to click off at any time. Um, now, I did a video um, probably about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, on um, ignore the noise in the background. This is my mom vacuuming the house. Um, on a, a, a response to VSL David, uh, VSL David video, uh, like your trifecta. And I t talked about my uh, three Latakia blends. One was mild, one was medium, or medium full, and one was very full bodied. Um, so they were Deep Elm, the, J the Justice Mixer, and the Church Warden, um, and Wash Day Cigar, uh, which is my little tobacco nest. Um, so I did ramble about that and talked a little bit about, about them. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, but um, I want to talk a little bit more about Latakia itself. Because Latakia is my favorite tobacco. Latakia is technically an Oriental tobacco, as v as VSL, VSL David said. Sorry, um, but it's dis distinguished by two ca characteristics. Um, one, Latakia is fire cured, meaning it's cured under open pits of fire. And two, Latakia is a much larger leaf tobacco in general. Mm -hmm. um, other oriental tobaccos, like Turkish, are sun cured. So, um, another difference between oriental tobaccos and Latakia, and La Latakia or how, what, how I'm trying to say this, um, another difference between other oriental tobaccos. And Latakia is the Latakia has almost almost no nicotine in it. That is a big misconception about Latakia. Latakia tastes extremely strong. It's smoky. It has a very strong, very potent aroma. A lot of people would describe it as depending on the content of it, depending on how much percentage it has, as smelling like burning leaves or a burning campfire or something like that. Uh, I has a very strong taste, um, and a very much acquired taste. It's not you don't naturally like it the first time you try it. Uh, so, but uh, anyway, it has almost no nicotine in it. A lot of people think Latakia has a, a lot of nicotine in it, but quite the contrary. Uh, Latakia has almost no nicotine in it. Um, now, how did I find out this? fact, um, well, I went to my local tobacconist, um, I was smoking my, um, my Pila pipe, my Pearson pipe, um, walking around, uh, looking at stuff, um, that's back when you could smoke in the retail section, you can't anymore, but, um, and, um, I had a friend with me, uh, or a family member, and, um, she was saying, you know, the the Latakia, I would, I thought it would smell bad. The smell of it, but it actually smells like incense, like church incense, or funeral home incense. And then uh, the guy who uh, bl blends the tobaccos at the tobacco store, he said, yeah, they use that, they use a Latakia when they're um, burning incense. So, which is a fun fact. Uh, he says. That tobacco Latakia has virtually no nicotine in it. Virtually no nicotine, no nicotine in it. So, a lot of people think like last summer, for example, not this summer, but last summer, <coughs> um, I uh, bought pure Latakia, just straight Latakia from McLennan's, uh, not from McLennan's site, but um, from Pipes and Cigars. And I said, okay, I'm going to smoke pure Latakia. And Tobacco Row said, um, smoking pure light here would just make you sick. He said, uh, I said, well, I'm going to do it anyway. He said, 
you just make sure to eat a full meal before. Um, I saw no nicotine from the, from smoking it. No nicotine yet whatsoever. Um, I I saw more nicotine from from like Dunhill's 965 uh, or Dunhill's nightcap uh, than um than from uh, smoking pure light IKEA. Pure light IKEA, there's almost no nicotine in that. Uh, so uh, that's one of the big misconceptions about light IKEA is that it has a lot of nicotine, which it does, it does not. Uh, so I was um, correction for a lot of people. Um, I never, that's another reason why um, they don't use a lot of Kia and um, cigarettes is because if all if um, if they use it in cigarettes, not only would it be very a lot of Kia is also a very slow burning tobacco, so it wouldn't be very well, good in cigarettes for many reasons. But um, you would get almost no nicotine from from inhaling it in your lungs. It's also a very hard tobacco to inhale. Uh, it's very smoky and heavy, and it really does irritate your throat. So it would just not not be a good tobacco for cigarettes at all. So a lot of people would assume because a lot of people do assume that Lucky has a lot of nicotine. It would be a very good tobacco for cigarettes, but quite the contrary, it 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 does not. It's probably the worst tobacco for cigarettes. Um, it's too large of a leaf, etc., etc., etc. Um, here's a, a last note before I before I end this video. Um, if all tobacco was like Latakia, if all tobacco was like Latakia, where it had almost no, no nicotine in it, um, then smoking, just in general, smoking cigarettes, if all tobacco was like Latakia and had almost no nicotine in it, there would be little to no point to smoking at all. Because you would not get any kind of buzz or, or high or whatever from it. Um, so, that's interesting that um, Latakia is, is, you know, people always wonder, you know, people always wonder, you know, what would it be like if I smoked tobacco and there was almost no nicotine? What would it be like, what would, what, it, what would it be like if I smoked tobacco and there was no nicotine in them, in the tobacco? Well, for any, anyone wondering what it's like to smoke tobacco and have almost no nicotine in the tobacco, I uh, just go and smoke pure Latakia in a pipe. So, that's about it. Peace out, bye.